Hi all, it's Kara from the Transformation Mom for ABCDE and today I have just a little journal that we made. My daughter has a birthday party that she's going to tonight and she was so excited to go but she just couldn't find the right present for this little girl and this little girl loves scrapbooks so she decided, hey mom could you help me make something? So we pulled out all the stuff and we, we made her something. So this paper is actually from one of the hot buy pads from Michaels and it had unicorns and mermaids in it and rainbows and all kinds of stuff. So my daughter absolutely loves mermaids and unicorns. So that was what she had chose for her theme for this. The washi tape also came from Michaels. These letters are, are scrap, uh, Scrabble tiles and they came from Beanster Goods. My friend Tina owns Beanster Goods. And so she, when I saw these, I just had to have them. They're nice to make whatever kind of letters you want. Abby decided that she needed to have a fun little girly tassel on the side, so we just used some leftover lace to, to do that. Um, she found this mermaid button at Michael's and absolutely fell in love with it, so of course we had to have that. And this is one of those Tim Holtz letters, so she picked Dream. She, um, there, this is elastic closure that I actually got from Walmart, it's just like elastic ribbon, and so. That was what she decided she wanted for the closure because she decided that she liked the color of it. So let's open it up and see what we have in here. So of course on the first page I always like to put some pockets on there. Be able you can you know slide your pen into here and you can there's a little card that comes out of there and there's the paper. From the paper pad there's all different types of paper here there's some ledger paper there's some graph paper there's some tracing paper there's some regular line paper uh my daughter in one of my animal books had this really cool fawn picture so she decided that she had to have that for her friend so that's in there and there's some of the cut aparts from the actual paper collection in here some trivial pursuit cards you can see this is actually stationery that i got uh, from a stationery company right here close to town. Uh, these actually came from Michaels too. They're a Recollections brand. Some more of the cut aparts. This is just some, uh, this actually came from a conference that I was at. Here you can see just some little stitching. Here's a book page, some other fun little stitching. She said this actually looked like the scales of the mermaid's tail, so that was why she wanted that stitch. It's kind of fun what they come up with. Your guest check, a card, some more paper from there. This is an altered guest check. I, uh, she mod podged a pink napkin onto it. So here's some of the other sides of the paper. This is actually a postcard from the Pittsburgh Zoo from way back when. I don't know how old it is, but she saw that and she decided her friend was a like leopard for Halloween, so she thought that the tiger had to go in there too. Um, you know, a little envelope made out of a book page. This is actually Mary Mary Quite Contrary, How Did You Grow Out and Grow? So it was a book of nursery rhymes. A wallpaper, little wallpaper tag. This paper pack was really nice to work with because there was a lot of bright colors and it was lots of fun. Here's another book page with some more little songs and rhymes. She loves animals, so Abby had to find a picture of her bunny and she loved that. So she made, I helped her make it into a pocket and sew it in there. Some paper ruffles, using some of the scraps from the paper. This piece is actually is a piece of stationery that I got when we were when I was in China about 20 years ago. And so um, she saw this and it says we are good friends and so she added that in there which I think is kind of cool. Look at how pretty this these mermaids are. And just this paper pack was really nice. So here you know look just a little itty bitty tuck spot here. The stars. The other side of that piece of paper paper ruffle. She loved how this clear purple, almost like a vellum, and so that's kind of fun. The mermaid tucked into it. Um, the, another came from Michael's 
you know, the unicorn clip. This is from a book of prayers, but she liked the, the roses on it. Another wallpaper card, the back side of it, the other side of that book page, the other side of the ledger. And then she also decided that she wanted me to teach her to, how to stitch a name. So we stitched her name using my sewing machine for that. And then back here, there's just some little pockets. So she wanted to be able to show how it was. And then the back cover just has that rainbow paper again. So I really enjoyed making this with her. It's always fun to share your, your passion with your kids. Um, so I'm really hoping that her friend loves it and, and sees how much work she put into it. Um, so we'll, you know, it'll be exciting to see what happens. I have a couple more projects going on right now. I'm working on three albums for the girls teachers. I'm working on two prayer journals for another two friends. I'm working on, I think, 18 waterfall albums for all the extra teachers. I have a steampunk album that I'm working on that I should be able to film here in the next couple days. So I'm really excited. I have some really cool things to be showing you guys here soon. I hope you guys have a great day and a really great Friday, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.